Hi, I'm June Runga. I'm a Kenyan technology entrepreneur and CEO of Usafi Comfort Limited. Property. It's a term used to describe ownership over land, material objects, and even some ideas. The ability for private individuals to use their property as they see fit, including to sell it, give it away, or destroy it if they choose, is essential for a society to prosper. A lack of property rights creates conflict over scarce resources. When land or resources are not owned, they are often abused and overused because no individual has an incentive to protect or to conserve them. Oceans are often overfished, forests are cut down, and grazing land may be ruined by livestock when too many people take what they want or need without any reason to limit their consumption. Economists call this the tragedy of the commons. A piece of property won't be as productive as it could be if the people who are supposed to work on it do not see themselves as gaining any benefit from the work they put in it, or worse, if they fear that it will be taken by force the minute they create something of value with it. Unfortunately, African countries rank lowest on the 2015 International Property Rights Index. Both social and government institutions that respect and enforce property rights throughout the continent are often weak or non-existent. This has many severe consequences. Without title deeds that formally record who owns which house or parcel of land, people cannot make use of their property as collateral to get bank loans. They can't legally establish businesses or sign contracts with others to do business on their property. They have lower incentives to invest in maintenance or develop the buildings or work the land and they cannot legally sell or trade it to others, nor can they gift the property to their heirs or children. But that's not all. Even in countries where the government does legally recognize someone's right to their land on paper, they may still severely restrict the ways in which one can use their land. For example, they might prevent people from selling the goods produced on their own property, or establish price controls on rent or other services. Some governments might even give police, military or other government officials the power to confiscate people's homes, land and material possessions without a fair judicial process. When individuals aren't secure in the knowledge that they have meaningful property rights, they are also less likely to engage in trade or create long-term contracts with each other, so investment in new businesses and access to credit often disappears. Governments and cultures that reject the idea of property rights often experience higher levels of violence and theft as people navigate disputes over who has power to control land and resources that remain effectively or officially unowned. Economic growth suffers, hurting the poorest members of the society the most. Nelson Mandela once said, money will not create success. The freedom to make it will. Poverty is a major problem in Africa and one of the most significant ways to help a society increase wealth and opportunity for all is to build a system of clearly defined and defensible and transferable private ownership of the resources across the continent. The key to that freedom is property rights.